Greetings and hello everyone. I'm Darshika Sena Veera from Sri Lanka and I have been working with Apari for nearly one year supporting ongoing projects at Apari. So the risk mitigation is one of the uh, thematic area of Apari researches and I am uh, presenting one project related to this area. So I'm glad to be here to present about pesticide residue mitigation by pesticide regulation and innovation uh, success stories from Bangladesh. So this is the brief background to the project. The project uh, is STDF pilot project entitled Asia Pesticide Residue Mitigation through the promotion of biopesticide and enhancement of trade opportunities from 2020 to 2023. The project was implemented by APARI, uh, Ag Align Global uh, and USDA. Uh, th so the project goal is to mitigate pesticide residues uh, and facilitate safe trade and promotion of biopesticides. Uh, the uh, pro project adopted in uh, eight countries, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, PDR, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, and Thailand and Vietnam. But today I focus on the initiative uh, or innovative approach and key outputs and results of Bangladesh. If you would like to know more about the project, you can write to Apari. So many less developed economies in Asia are struggling to adhere to the pesticide maximum residue limits set by Codex or uh, other trade partners. This is due to lack of established MRLs and unrealistically low MRLs that are impractical to achieve by farmers. So the project aimed at solving these problems by uh, developing and testing a new, new approach to overcome trade barriers caused by MRLs. In Bangladesh, there were two selected conventional pesticides you can see here. The selected crop was cabbage, uh, biopesticide was neem oil. This residue mitigation study consisted of two phases. The first one, the application of uh, multiple chemical formulations to the crop to identify active ingredients. This active ingredient was used in phase two. In phase 2, the introduction of a biopesticide to replace the last conventional application. So the biopesticide will uh, replace the last conventional application. Previous application was used conventional uh, pesticide as usual. So that was the innovative part. Through a huge effort to integrate uh, this biopesticide into uh, national IBM programs, the project has laid a foundation for addressing important issues in agricultural pest management in Bangladesh. So, uh, there are several health issues and environmental issues uh, due, happens uh, due, due to usage or heavy usage of toxic chemicals or conventional pesticide. Therefore, uh, but the biopesticide are unique because biopesticide are natural formulations. They can help farmers to avoid maximum uh, uh, residue limits. Uh, this have that affecting agri food trade and while promoting environmental sustainability and ensuring food safety. So these are the key outputs and achievements the project was designed in a way to mainstream the common framework on capacity development for agricultural innovation systems of the tropical agriculture platform. The tropical agricultural platform or TAP is a G20 innovative to promote agriculture innovation in tropics. So APARI is an active member of this framework. The common framework promotes uh, the capacity for innovation specifically uh, capacity to navigate complexity, uh, to uh, reflect and learn, and to uh, collaborate, and to uh, engage in uh, many political processes. So the uh, project's output, so the project uh, output or approach uh, to capacity development was based on this uh, blending of technical and functional capacities. 
which was integrated in each and every uh, training activity around the following outputs. In output 1, new MRL data generated and knowledge improved uh, to interpret this MRL data and uh, on the use of biopesticide. The major component or major challenge of the project was the uh, completion of supervised field trials and laboratory analysis. So that was successfully conducted by now. So these are the activities. Uh, good laboratory practices were conducted uh, both in field and lab and generated uh, residue mitigation data generated by pesticide efficacy studies. The project adopted the TOT model and facilitated participants uh, interaction, uh, exploration of key skills and attitudes and uh, learning of various pre uh, tips and principles of adult learning. Additionally, um, it encouraged the use of uh, personal logbooks and communication with supervisors. So these are some functional uh, capacities developed during the, during the project. And it also developed the technical capacities of researchers by avoiding, uh, by providing, by providing tr uh, trainings in developing standard operation uh, procedures, implementing quality assurance systems, and ensuring appropriate documentation and data management. Uh, and also covering various field and lab topics on uh, good laboratory practices uh, by providing guidance uh, and support uh, the uh, researchers. Uh, technical capacities were developed. Therefore, in Bangladesh, the introduction of a biopesticide to replace the last conventional application could reduce pesticide residue by up to 50% compared to the conventional plot, which was achieved by uh, developing researchers' capacities. So, these are some pictures that have been taken during the uh, training programs. After participating in training programs, Bangladesh got it, uh, uh, Bangladesh highlighted the uh, effectiveness and satisfaction of the activities to achieve the uh, uh, output one by the researchers. The project successfully met the goals outlined under uh, output 2 also. It was aimed at improving production efficiency and development capacities of uh, biopesticide uh, manufacturing. So there were three main activities, uh, virtual lecture series, hand on, uh, hands on training and development of videos on lab techniques and processes of microbial biopesticide manufacturing. These were successfully conducted and completed. The training covered all the essential steps in uh, production of microbial uh, biopesticides uh, from uh, like from um, isolation of fungus to uh, quality control of the spores, all the activities uh, which include researchers' uh, skills and knowledge. So these pictures were taken during the uh, activities conducted under output 2. In output 3, capacities for regulatory harmonization was enhanced. So first, the project analyzed the uh, status of alignment of national regulatory framework with AAZEAN guidelines, thereby improving the uh, regulatory framework for biopesticide and biocontrol agents. So, this enhanced the uh, capacities of regulators as well as the institutions to manage biopesticide registration and adoption. Under this output, um, the project conducted capacity building workshops on biopesticide to address these uh, regulatory issues. And then uh, the project formed a Bangladesh technical working group. Then the pro project extensively worked with this Bangladesh technical working group to update the available biopesticide guidelines. These uh, updated guidelines then uh, translated into Bengali and the final draft was presented to the Bangladesh Pe Pesticide Technical uh, Advisory Committee. Finally, 
<coughs> very recently bangladesh ministry of agriculture formally approved the uh, updated biopesticide regulations this is actually a giant step for bangladesh agriculture as well as to the project so these are some pictures that were taken during the biopesticide regulatory harmonization workshop so output for is the extension and outreach activities facilitated uh, for creating awareness and dissemination of project outputs so in bangladesh government officials involved in the project interacted with national farmer organizations such as uh, kendrio krishok moitri and action aid bangladesh to engage with farmers and disseminate acquired knowledge as well as uh, apart from sharing new knowledge through various communication channels such as um, website uh, social media uh, in the form of uh, articles and infographics you can follow apari website and social media to know more to ensure the sustainability of the project results significant efforts was invested in building um, technical functional and institutional capacities this uh, now requires a commitment from bangladesh researchers and government officials to maintain and further advance these knowledge and skills for that purpose the project team with the technical experts government uh, national study teams and the private industries will be continued through asia pacific biopesticide community which was launched a few days back actually so this will ensure continued networking and collaboration with bangladesh by engaging a um, diverse array of national and international stakeholders for the promotion of biopesticide and enhancement of trade enhancement of safe trade so with that note uh, i would like to wind up my presentation apari is uh, very much thankful uh, for giving this opportunity to speak in iaic conference and disseminate acquired knowledge and the uh, successful uh, activities of the completed project during past uh, few years so thank you very much